Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel yet again and today we are going to go ahead and install Zenon HD for this particular phone that is Xiaomi A1. So we will look at the installation process and we will have a quick first look at Zenon HD. How well does it run on this particular phone? Now I've tried that ROM on a few other devices but it's turn of the Xiaomi Mi A1 to experience Zen in HD which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo. So before we begin, here's a card to the latest giveaway which sends you a chance to win the Redmi Note 5 Pro once we hit 10,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And if you like motor vlogging and stuff about motorbikes, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and watch the videos and if you like the stuff on there, go ahead and subscribe there as well. Now without further ado hello awesome people my name is Kalash let's install Zenon HD on the Xiaomi Mi A1 All right guys, welcome to the channel and today we are going to install and preview that means we will look at the installation process of Zenon HD which is based on Android 8.1.0 for the Mi A1 aka Tissot that is the code name for this device. Now you got to have unlock bootloader and TWRP installed if you were to flash this ROM and make sure you have at least 50% battery and all your data is backed up. And if you've got all of this done, the last thing to do is download the ROM and Google apps from the links mentioned in the description. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. Once that is done, you need to go to install and select the ROM file and swipe to confirm flash. Now, this will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient and wait for the ROM flash to complete. Meanwhile, let me tell you guys that I'm really, really enjoying this device because it launched at around what, 13 or 14,000 rupees. And for that money, if you get Android one or basically stock Android as your primary OS, it is a very, very good experience is what I'd like to say. Meanwhile, wait for the installation to complete. And after flashing this file, you can choose to flash Google apps or not. I will not be doing it because I'm not using this as a daily driver. I'm doing this just to show it to you guys how the ROM looks and should you be flashing it or not. So you can choose to install Google Apps if you're going to be using Google Play services after flashing the zip file and then you can boot into the system. All right, so it looks like the ROM has been flashed and we will go ahead and wipe cache in Dalvik. There you go. Let's reboot system and here we go. So the first boot may take between two to three minutes, usually custom ROMs and the stock ROM as well for this ROM boots up pretty quickly, but uh, the stock ROM does take up to five minutes and the custom ROM, well, about two to three minutes and it should be good to go. Zen HD, I'm really, uh, you know, waiting to see the boot animation of this particular ROM and uh, I did try it on my OnePlus 5T was a pretty, pretty stable ROM at that point of time. I really don't know how stable it is for this phone. Uh, did they change the boot animation? I think so because I don't recollect which boot animation was used in the one which uh, I flashed on the OnePlus 5T. Nonetheless, let's allow the phone to boot and we will have a quick look at Zenon HD based on Android 8.1 Oreo. All right, so looks like we are in the ROM. Let me just quickly go ahead and uh, reduce the brightness a little bit. Okay. So I think we are good. Uh, the Bluetooth is on. We can go ahead and turn that off as well. So yeah, that's the look at the ROM. Now, surprising here. Uh, first, let me go ahead and check the Android version. I'm pretty sure it is Android 8.1. Yeah, it is Android 8.1, but they are using a different launcher altogether. Now let's have a quick look at the number of apps that are installed. Uh, there's about, uh, I would say 17 or 18, 18 apps here and uh, all of them are pretty, pretty essential file manager, music and the launcher that you're using is a Loa, Nova launcher. So good there. You don't need to go and download one extra app from the Play Store. Uh, apart from this, let's have a quick look at the camera, which camera they are using. Let's allow this. Okay, so it's a pretty, pretty standard camera and uh, the rear camera works, the flash works, the front camera works. So yeah, the camera is working. I can see the voice over LTE icon here as well. Uh, let's quickly go to the settings and let's check what type of customization is available. 
So starting from the top, uh, everything is normal, usual stuff. It says current user is account for two. I don't know what that means. But yeah, we have Zen and HD Hub. That is what we talk about a lot in the install and preview videos. And that is what we are going to do today. So starting from the top, guys, uh, we have Zen and OTA. That is for force closure. <laughs> okay. So it looks like that is not working that great. Uh, so on the Xiaomi Mi A1, this is probably one of the first ROMs to go ahead and have a force closure, but that's fine. OTA is something we can manage. Uh, you can have a look at the change log here. So yeah, at least that is working. Apart from then, you can go ahead and, you know, customize your clock. Like for example, uh, you can keep it in the center, clock seconds, so the seconds are visible. Status bar battery style, you can say don't show it's dotted circle so you see that the options are working flawlessly and apart from the initial force close that we had we've not had a lot of force closures now quick settings is something you can customize uh, portrait yeah let's go ahead and increase these so yeah that is another option brightness slider auto brightness icon can be enabled if you go to lock screen you can enable quick unlock Power menu, no power menu when locked. Okay, great. Recent apps, all right. Now the reason I'm looking at uh, all of the customization is because now this is a very, very good ROM. I would not say it's a bad ROM just because there was one force close. Uh, this is again based on Android 8.1, but what I would like to say is if customization is your prime, prime goal on installing a custom ROM, then I would say, you know, you can shy away from this one and probably try some other ROMs because this does have customization, but it just has the most essential customization, the most basic ones that you will need to, you know, maybe customize your phone here and there. But if you're looking at a customization, you know, masterpiece, then this is not the one, probably Resurrection Remakes or uh, AOSP Extended and stuff like that is the way to go. But yes, for now, uh, for the first look, from the first look point of it for this particular device, almost everything is working fine. Voice over LTE is there, Android 8.1 is there. You have updates that are regularly being, you know, pushed out to this device for this ROM as well. So yeah, a pretty, pretty decent ROM. I really liked the look of it and the experience is very, very fluid. So if you wish, you can definitely go ahead and give it a try. The link for this ROM is mentioned in the description. There are a lot of uh, other install and preview videos coming up. There's Resurrection Remix coming, Linear Joyce Nightlies is up, Firehound. So stay tuned because as I said in one of my earlier videos, we are going to be covering the Mi A1 from head to toe. Until then, this is Kalash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Take care, keep smiling, see you soon.